Hey everyone, it's an aging zombie here. In today's video, I'm going to be going over how to unlock the newest Dark Aether portal from the Season 5 Reloaded update. Now, just like all the other Dark Aether portals, you will need four gold items in order to unlock this portal. Now, the first item you do get from completing the story mission, it is this gold Mr. Peaks here. And then the other items, we will need a few things. So you will need the Aether Blade, you'll need a Blood Burner, and the Sergeant's Beret to get that purple unattuned version. And then we'll go ahead and attune those to get the gold variant to unlock the portal. So let's get into this. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna work on is the, I believe it's the giraffe. It's using the Sergeant's Beret. So you need to go and execute a Merc while wearing the disguise from the Sergeant's Beret. So let's find a, well, of course there is no camps near me. Okay, so this Sergeant's Beret, I totally forgot that it like turns you into a Merc. I thought it just called in the Merc. And so I actually don't fully know how this is gonna work. Like, are they just not gonna shoot you as long as you don't shoot them? So let's see if I can get up here and assassinate one of these guys. Okay, they're not shooting me. Yeah, there we go. And there we go. Nice. All right, and there we go. Giraffe. One item down. Okay, so the next item. The next item will be using the blood burner key, and that is to get the drum. And to do that, we do need to go into tier three, and specifically, we need to start right there. We need to start at this spot. Okay, so here we are. So you start here, so at this location. Oh, let's take you out really quick. Actually, I think uh, let's uh, use an Aether Blade. Oh, hello. Let me try and kill both these with the Aether Blade. And I will explain a little later why I'm trying to use the Aether Blade. Oh. Okay, now let's get back to this. Okay, so essentially, we're gonna use the blood burner to follow a path, and the path is gonna be highlighted by these arrows here. So let me call in the blood burner. All right, so you hear the little laugh from Mr. Peaks. That means it's officially started. So there's an arrow up there. There's an arrow straight in front that's pointing to the right. And there's an arrow right here that shows to go up. Oh boy. This arrow is going to be right there. Here's another one. Here's another one just telling us where to go and it ends right here. And I don't know if it's timed or not. I know that the blood burner kind of is like terrible with uh, handling. So I don't know if there is like a you have to do it within a certain amount of time, but... I did that pretty good, actually. And there we go. Echo of Drum. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, and now the last one, using the Aether Blade. Now, this one is still, like... I don't think people have fully figured out what is needed to be done. The only certainty is that you do need the Aether Blade... But there's some confusion on, do you need to only kill Mimics with the Aether Blade, or is it any special zombie? And there's also confusion on, do you need, can you damage them with your weapon, or do you have to only use the Aether Blade? Now, I've seen videos of people killing Mimics from one of these new triangles that have popped up over there. So, 
I'm probably just going to go over there and do that. Let me uh, kind of continue with this guy, though, since it's already... Oh, how dare. Not cool, dude. Not cool. But whatever. Um, so I'm just going to go over and kind of do what I've seen other people do. But like I said, it's kind of unclear what you need to do, but it seems like killing specials maybe mimics only with the aether blade um and some people are saying it was just one some people are saying it's five the nice thing about this triangle over here is it does spawn a bunch of mimics so we're just gonna do that okay and so just like in tier three so they've added these new triangles outside of tier three Kind of all over the map now these ones unlike the tier three ones these uh things that you're supposed to shoot or in this case punch apparently spawn in different spots every single time so you just kind of have to go to the area and then listen you, know, you can hear it hum and then you'll eventually find them that looks pretty good to me Come up and get some air. Oh, uh, let's see. How, why are you not? There we go. Okay, now the orb is over there. So we're going to kind of move that way. And I am just going to use my ether blade to try and kill these mimics. Oh, you didn't even die to the Aether Blade. What the heck? Oh, you're over here. Okay. That's probably what's killing me. Because I don't feel like the Mimics uh, thing are hitting me. Whatever they throw out. What the heck? They're dying <laughs> before my Aether Blade can kill them. What the heck is this? Okay, here we go. Now they're kind of grouped up. So hopefully now my Aether Blade will hit more. There we go. I like that much better. Oh my gosh. Now they're really hammering me. <laughs> oh, but look at that grouping. That's wonderful. Oh, ow, ow. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I am going to go buy a self revive really quick because I do not want to uh, go down and lose these two items and have to come back in and do all this, especially because I crafted that Bloodburner key and the. Uh, Sergeant's Beret, I didn't have any in my stash, so. Don't want to go down. And I'm, I'm going to guess that all those mimics are going to follow me, so this is going to be a spicy buy. Okay. Didn't pop up, so. Let's take out this Disciple really quick. Let's restart this uh, triangle. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm doing so terrible. Okay, I am going to go because I now, again, need a self-revive. So I need to do some contracts. So let me go do this. Get some essence and buy another self revive. I should really also get perks. Perks are going to be needed. So let's try this again. Alright, so. 
since I still don't fully know if it's just mimics or if it's any oh I didn't want to kill that guy <laughs> um if it's mimics or any specials I'm gonna try and kill this mangler with my ether blade I've already killed a couple specials and elites with an aether blade um, like when I was in tier three trying to go for that blood burner spot Now, it could also be that, yeah, you're not supposed to damage him with weapons, but this is still a little bit of a trial and error, so. It's just like damage him. Oh, I wanted to just damage him a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna try this time. Do I wanna just try damaging them? I'm gonna try damaging them. I think there's no way it's like just 100% you have to only use the Aether Blade. Oh, didn't mean to kill you. Oh, and I <laughs> oh, force a habit to use my gun there. Oh, hello. Oh, it just takes so long. Gonna pop up? Nope. Let's kind of clean up some of these zombies here. All just disappeared oh wait <gasps> did I get it oh no okay hmm god this is frustrating okay come on it's gonna work all right there should be one more blade for you or not because you healed. Oh, no, stop healing off of me. Nothing. Okay, so maybe it is just mimics, or maybe it is that you have to only deal damage with the Aether Blade. I am so confused on this. Oh my gosh, I got it. Okay, so I was using the Aether Blade. I got that uh, Disciple, and uh, but I definitely shot the Disciple with my um, shotgun beforehand. So it must be, ow, 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 fire, fire, fire. Okay, reward rift, I just want the reward rift. Let me interact. Nope, well, whatever. There it is, Echo of Lock Diary. Okay, so you must have to, yeah, just kill a certain number of special zombies. 
with the Aether Blade. Now, I have no idea how many in total I killed. Especially when it was, you know, all those mimics lined up on the beach like that. I have no idea if I had killed multiple there. I'd also killed a couple in Tier 3 kind of near the beginning of the match before I did the Blood Burner to get the drum. So, who knows what the what it actually is. But it definitely is Aether Blade and Special Zombies. Oh man, that feels good to have done. I thought I was gonna have to come in in a second run. Now, yeah, I could probably go and upgrade everything this run as well, but I am gonna go back out. I'm gonna um, come back in for another match to work on upgrading each of these items to the gold variant. So I'm gonna head to an exfil, which is of course not near me. Oh, actually, that's there. Okay, so we are back in here, and I just realized I forgot to bring in the golden Mr. Peaks. So, uh, I can go get these uh, in their gold variant, but I will have to come back in to actually unlock the portal. Which I guess is fine. It'll kind of like... I guess maybe not fine. I was going to say it's going to free up inventory space, but I guess it actually won't. It'll actually make it worse. But um, So, to go upgrade these things, there are three spots... And I believe it is the diary is in here, in tier three. Then the drum is in tier two over here. And then lastly, you start the giraffe over at the eagle, but then end up completing it over at the power plant. So I'm gonna go do the tier three first. Oh, that's right, I haven't equipped everything. I was wondering why my shotgun was uh, a little underpowered there. All right, so let's go tier three. Okay, so we are at the location. Now this step does have some HVT level um, special zombie spawn, so I'm actually going to kind of preemptively put this here to kind of hopefully help out. And you come over to whoop, this van over here. Maybe. This area is always so crazy with zombies. Like, just this little area here. It's kind of wild. I've always, I've always never really understood why there's usually so many here, but... Good spot if you need to just kind of farm some zombies. Okay, I think I've cleared this up. So you come in here, and we here have this little rock here. You offer the unattuned relic. I wonder if I can get on this roof. I should help with the uh, mega. There was someone behind me. And there we go. But it should spawn more. I believe it spawns one of every type of special. There we go. Oh boy. <laughs> Another... Another Mega, oh my, and the Disciple. Maybe I'm going too slow here. It's just spawning a bunch. All right, Disciple, you're the last one. Got it, is that it? There we go. All right. And there we go. Echo of Giraffe Toy, and it has been attuned. Okay, so let's go on to the next area. I'm going to actually go over to this one. But I first want to see where is a buy station. I want to go replenish my uh, sentry gun. 
Okay, so the, I believe this is the drum, is going to be right here. Now you will need some type of vehicle or um, if you have a scorcher to help you kind of get up. Come up here, same thing. Offer the attuned relic. Now this one is a little different, so we've seen something like this before. There will be a zombie that is glowing a specific color, which will tell us what ammo mod we need to use. And I believe it's also you can't kill that zombie. Oh, here it is. Yeah. So see, he's glowing red. He's got fire on him. So we need uh, napalm burst. And then these pillars give the fire mod. And this one's glowing kind of flamey. So it's got to be this one. Got him. And I think there's a couple that spawn. Let's see. Do I see any other zombies that are glowing? Yep. Got you. Oop, you're glowing green. Okay, so you've got to have uh, brain rot. I just want to make sure I don't see any other for uh, napalm burst. Okay, so brain rot's going to be this one here. It's got a little bit of green in it. Oop. Okay, got it. Oh, there you are. Okay, and then I see a white one. So white one is frost, which is this one over here. And there we go. And there we go. Echo of Drum Attuned. So the last one will be the Locked Diary. Okay, so the last one is here where you normally get the free speed cola. Now, instead of driving up like you would to get the free speed cola, we're actually going to come down at the base here, right up in this little nook. And he's actually doing it right now. I think I just saw him drinking the PhD flopper. Okay, I gave that guy some time to get it done. He's moved away, so I'm assuming he got it done. I don't know how it would work if we both activated it at the same time. But you come up here, and again, you offer an attuned relic, the unattuned. And this will spawn some PhD Flopper because you will need PhD Flopper for this. And then this little portal appears. Now, from my understanding, if you do not have the diary in your inventory when you do this step, uh, you cannot walk through this portal. So if you're in a team with just one person that has it, uh, only they can use the portal. And it transports you over to the silos here at Power. And you are supposed to... You need to, not supposed to, you need to PhD flop down onto that crate, that container, which seems easy enough, but let's see, can he do it on the first try? Oh, I just missed it. Oh, bummer. Now, you don't have to go all the way back to the very beginning. Uh, there, It does spawn a rift here. So it'll spawn you, it will just bring you right back up. And it is time-based, so like you do have just oop, a certain amount of time to get it done. Uh, but it is quite a bit of a quite a bit of time. And worst case scenario, you can always go back. Let's, I'm just curious, like, does it have to be from that high? Oh, of course, and I fell off. Nope, has to be from up high. Okay. There we go. Ooh, I held my breath. Okay, there we go. The last item attuned. Echo of Lock Diary is now attuned. So now normally, of course, if I had brought in the fourth item, I could go and now unlock the portal. But since I do not have that fourth item, I will need to exfil and go get that item and then come back in. So let me find nearest exfil right over here. Perfect and we will come back in to get this done. Okay, so 
back in here again now that I have all the gold items. Heading into tier three. And we'll open up this new portal. Oh, no vehicles nearby. Bummer. Okay, so we are here. Ready to place the items. So over here, we've got the drum. So we will offer that. Oh, that's... There we go. If I know what button to push. And then we've got the diaries right here. The giraffe. And Mr. Peaks. Oh, and I forgot. It does spawn a Mega, so I wanted to place this down. But luckily, there's a little bit of time before that happens. like to bring megas over here because I've noticed that zombies don't jump up these guys are helping me out oh, you're fighting them. oh don't run away don't run away stay with me back. Come on back to my sentry. Yeah, I get it, sentry. Come on, sentry. Keep shooting. the tree. <laughs> there we go. Alright, and we get a sigil. Awesome, so I now have it unlocked. Woohoo! Okay, now before I go in, I always do a run as soon as I open it, but I actually want to take a little bit of time. I've seen other people run this, and it's a little wild, so... I'm gonna run some contracts in tier three, get up enough essence, I wanna be able to buy all the perks, get some self revives and some more Casimirs. So I'm gonna do that first and then I'm gonna make my first attempt at this. Okay, so I'm all prepped up here, ready to go. Let's attempt this, first attempt here. See if I can get all of them, all, the all of the contracts completed. If I could talk, I'm just so excited. Okay, here we are. Let's go. Okay, so there's three contracts in here. So there is an Outlast, a Spore Control, and then a Escort. And I would like to get the try to get the Escort done first. Just because it will help free up space in my inventory if I complete it and get things. Because um, it will free up all this inventory space. This one is the spore control, if I remember correctly. And the out, the uh, escort should be this one here. So I'm going to go for this. Hey, you can grab it while you're flying. Nice. Oh, whoops. This is the spore control. I had it wrong. Okay, well, that's fine. Oh, boy, there is so much here. Yep, throw me off the edge. That's fine. Now, from my understanding, this spore control is, like, pretty spread out around the map. So, it's not like a spore control normally where, um, here's one, where they're kind of in one rough area. This is pretty, apparently, spread out. I can only take one of them right now, and that's fine. Um, so the first one I think is right here. Yep. 
Oh, thanks, dog, for not attacking me. That was polite of you. In fact, you were, like, running away from me. I get both? Good. All right, let's get out of here. So the next one was up on this roof. I feel like this, this area... Oh, hold on. Here's one. Hey, let's go. I want you. Go take me over to you. Which will take me to the roof. I almost missed that jump, I feel like. <laughs> I'm kind of glad that I, I made it. Okay. There's a lot up here. Hopefully I can get these two uh, inhibitors. Let's make it pass now. Got it, got it. Alright, so where are the next ones? The next one's over here somewhere. And then this way... What does this offer me? There's a jump pad right here. I know the if you use the jump things when you land, it doesn't really hurt you. But I'm, I'm assuming that if you land without one of them, you will be damaged. So using my parachute a little bit. Oh boy. Oh, that's right. I have. I don't have my. Uh, um, Kazmir's out. I thought I had Kazmir's out. Okay, let's call in my field upgrade to get this. And then get... Oh, it doesn't work on the... Uh, Mimics. Okay. Need the other one. Got it. Let's get out of here. Oh, I had landed on it. <laughs> I was over here at one point. Oh boy. Wow, that's wild. Okay, I'm gonna call in. Not call in. I'm gonna throw a Casimir here. Oh, that's only five of six. Oh no, there's one more somewhere. Let me take you back. Okay, where is the last one? Oh, okay, over here. Let's put you back on. Got it. All right. Ooh, perfect. Wonderful. Ooh, I'll take that. Ooh, I should really take that self-revive. Since I've kind of burned through some. Perfect. Okay. Now, I think this is what I was wanting. I think this is the... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's a lot. That is a lot spawning there. Um, I think the escort is this one. Yep. Valid placement. Come on. Invalid placement. Oh, it's too close. Okay. Let's just start it and get going. That's right. I do have this. Oh, my goodness. Hello. I found this in a box. So let's try this out a little bit. Wow, it's doing wonders to these mimics. My goodness. Ooh, this is a really tight alleyway here. Oh, this is not going to be fun. Actually, let me swap. Oh, whatever. It's already there. throw another one here. Don't think I'm going to make this one. And I'm now running low on ammo. Oh, no. Do I call in the Disciple? I'm going to call in the Disciple. Let's see if that maybe helps out a little bit. All right, we're going to throw one out here. And I need... Oh, hey, look at that. Ammo right here. Let's go. Ooh, hey, that's nice to know that that's there. Could be... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. 
Okay, let's throw this out. Let's get the next two ready. And let's use the wonder weapon. Let's just go ham. Get him. Let's throw another one of these. Oh, boy. Oh, good. The uh, disciple, which I think is now dead. Oh, no. He came back to me. I'm going to say the, dis the disciple told him back the mega, but... Oh, I, I got it. I think I got it. I mean, unless they destroy it within this last few seconds here. Oh, oh, oh. oh boy, don't go down. Don't go down. Okay, let's throw one of these out. Ooh, I'll take an elder. Okay. Um, nothing else really worth taking. I mean, the tier... The pap 2 crystal, but I've got a pap 3. And I typically don't bring in a um, second weapon, so don't really need to worry about packing a second gun. Okay, so now just one more contract. So I'm coming over here. Forget what the last contract location is, but it's going to be lit up, right? Oh, I see it way over there. Okay. Okay, now from my understanding, hello Rant Boyle, never got your name, now I know. Uh, from my understanding, there is going to be various uh, HVT level specials that will spawn in here, so got to be a little careful, don't want to accidentally get trapped in a corner. Now the nice thing is this is a pretty big space and it will be kind of easy to do a train. Oh, let's help my disciple out. Oh boy. <laughs> Gotta help him out. Let's do this. Probably kind of stupid of me to call it in, but hopefully it helps. Oh, I'm EMP'd again. Ouch. Oh boy. Okay, let's throw this kind of close over there. Anything good? Oh boy. <laughs> I'll take that actually. Okay, so now we need to just get back up top. So far, the only exit I know is at the very top of this building here. So let's try and get over there. Good that zombies don't spawn on this. That would be a little rough. Okay, and how much time... Oh, so, let's see. How much time do you get for the regular? Is it 25 minutes? If it's 25 minutes, and I'm now at 10 minutes and 15 seconds, that means I would have normally 14 seconds, right? I think that's right. All right, well, let's get out of here. All right, so there we go. That's how you go about unlocking the newest Dark Aether portal for the Season 5 Reloaded update. Fairly straightforward overall, nothing too complicated from getting the unattuned items to the attuned items. And then the newest Dark Aether itself, I mean, it's exactly like the story mission as far as the layout. I think it's so cool. It's definitely my favorite Dark Aether. I love the jump pads. I love how you maneuver around the map. And I love the size of it. The only thing is... It's going to be very challenging to then go in and do the Elder, especially as a solo player. Completing all those contracts, that um, escort contract, just takes so long. It drives so far in between each of the stops. And the fact that there's four stops, ooh, that's going to be pretty tough. But I'm up for the challenge. I'm really excited to uh, go for that. So I hope everyone enjoyed this video, though. And until the next one, peace.